Hi everyone, this is uh, Martin Duzon from the Frame Sport Horses. Um, we are doing today a video part of the four video series about um, presentation in hand and confirmation for for the young horses. Uh, we uh, specialize in uh, young horse training and education and a lot of our work is to um, showcase the horses at uh, some breeding shows and uh, the FEH program uh, run um, by the USCA. So I just wanted to give you my opinion and some uh, ideas and tips on uh, the in-hand presentation and the um, how to look at horses when they're standing for a confirmation shot. So let's get right into it with our first horse here. This is a Cody. It's a sorbet off the track. Um, a little bit on the picture, I think he had a little bit of downtime after his racing. And so he's a little bit of a chunkier, bigger bone type of uh, race horse. But great expression, well proportioned. The neck is a little bit short on this horse. When we look at his top line, the wither is very well developed, but it has a little bit of a slope um, that makes the saddle position a little bit more far back. The loin is very strong, very good hind end. Um, the, on the picture, he is standing a little bit over his shoulder. Uh, the shoulder is very, uh, has a nice angle, it's a very long shoulder, but he appears to be a little bit in front of his front legs. The front legs are also a little bit short compared to the hind legs, um, but if we look at the level of his wither compared to the top of his croup, it's fairly uh, level for a sorebred. A lot of sorebred can be a little bit downhill with the top of the wither, a little bit lower than the top of the croup. So I think for the, the for Sorbet, this horse has pretty good uh, balance. If we also look at his legs, the, the joints are pretty small. It's a, it's a Sorbet, so it's not surprising. With the front legs being very straight, no big defect, and uh, a nice angle in the hocks. Personally, I like a good angle in the hocks and the hocks a little bit low uh, but this is really good on that horse to me it's very very nice type um, for eventing for sure would be excited to see him jump so jumping on to our second horse uh, this is uh, BSF Brettany she is a Swedish warm blood um, dressage bred and on the picture, we can see that it's a little bit more of a compact uh, type, a little bit rounder, build a little bit like a, like a ball, um, and uh, look more like a hunter type of horse, a little bit heavier. But I just wanted to show you all how um, presenting the horses in hand can have a different impression on the judge. And on the first picture, the head is a little bit lower and it looks a little bit more like a hunter horse. And on the second picture, she is much more uphill with her head a little bit higher, her balance a little bit more on the hind legs, and she looks a little bit more like a, a sport horse. And you would think that for eventing, it would be fine too. The next horse is uh, De Delus WG, bred by uh, Eileen Bryant. So this is a three-year-old that has been bred for eventing um, with a sorebred mare and um, Dr. Wendell on the sire side. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit more of the presentation. I like the horses to be a little bit uh, square or slightly open in the front legs and open on the judge side with the hind legs. Um, the walk needs to be very straight going away from the judges because that's what they're looking at uh how they walk um they look at their legs see how they they walk straight uh the long side needs to show a nice uh over track um long walk 
uh, it's always better like the free walk on the saddle to have the head a long and low horse to show that they can reach in their walk and coming back to the judges nice and straight very important that the head stays uh, straight all the time otherwise it will give a, a little bit of an impression of a, of a horse that is crooked uh, here we can see that uh, i'm replacing the horse back and forth so our horses are used to do some little step forward and back just to make sure we can move their legs on small step and some big step and here i stand him uh, square in the front legs a little bit uh, open in the hind legs so this is another horse called frame gandalf so this is a bigger uh, type of horse a little bit more it's a hanoverian warm blood um, on that picture i want to showcase the fact that the wither of that horse is higher than the the top of his group so this horse naturally by his conformation is very balanced he also have a um his neck is attached pretty high so you can see he has a lot of uh, uphill presence uh, as an eventer i would say that the joints are a little bit big on that horse uh, the hocks the the knees the fetlocks um, it's definitely a little bit on the heavier side and as an eventer uh, i think it's better to have a, a nice uh, leggy horse like this one for example so this is a um, another sorebred um, four-year-old called joker and if we look at his joint and all his line we can see the little lines in his muscles um, this horse is much 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 lighter um, same thing good balance looking at the top of the weather and the croup i want to add that the on an eventing horse i think what's very important is the deep of the girth for good um breathing capacity so race horses tend to have that naturally um, but it's important to look at it on the on the much heavier horse and also the thickness of the strut latch uh, same thing for suppleness uh, as a riding horse and also for for breathing capacity um, this horse uh, as compared to the other sorbet that we saw before a very good saddle position um, but his shoulders are a little bit straighter um, than the other one so now we're moving on to um, pretty much an opposite type um, so this is a uh, Danny frame Derenberg and this is a much um, much bigger taller heavier type of horse all uh, his bone his joint um, is much much uh, bigger a nice uphill present same thing level of the wither and the croup pretty even a nice sloppy shoulder um, he's uh, less deep in the girth than the sorebreds uh, and a little bit um, uh, thick in the strut legs uh, like I was saying on the horse before uh, it's very well proportioned for this horse it's just um, at some point heavier horses for eventing it's obviously uh, not ideal and uh, this horse uh, went into the equitation ring uh, so now we have um, another horse called uh, Olympus um, so Olympus is a three-year-old on that video um, and he uh, is definitely an eventing horse he has very nice presence so here in front of the judges he's not standing very well so I'm trying to step in back and forth um, to square up his front legs and here we go like here He's a little bit better trying to keep his head straight with my hand and he's a little bit jiggly he wants to move while the judge is going around him so uh, so now it's good now he's standing properly nice and uphill with his head a little bit higher and I'm sure at that particular point we can get a nice picture of his confirmation so again for the walk very straight away from the judges 
a nice long slopey uh, walk with the head of the horse a little bit low on the opposite side we try to show the biggest stride as we can uh, without the horse trotting but i'm trying to keep i would say the ears of the horse at the level of his wither or lower when he walks and nice and straight here he's trying to look at me and it looks a little bit crooked so um, he should have been a little bit straighter coming back to the judges so now we're having a another horse called bsf frame charleston this is i believe the reserve champion for Srio that the feh championship in um 2020 um so even if it's a swedish warm blood uh, as a breed this horse is much lighter than most of them um, we can look at his legs he's a little bit straight in the pasture unfortunately which is not ideal um, but he's very light uh, the legs are very thin the joints are small and um, he has a, a nice uh, uphill present the wither is definitely a little higher than his croup so this is the same horse uh, at the price uh, giving and um, on that picture he's definitely because he's looking at me um, leaning a little bit over his shoulder which makes a little bit more of a horizontal less uphill appearance i just want to point that out uh, beside that the we can see that from the 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 base of his wither to to his tail it, the, his back is fairly flat uh, which i like because in my opinion it gives them a little bit of a stronger top line good saddle position and allow them to use their top line um, in a natural easier way stronger for the jumping and for their gates um, he's also his hind legs are far behind him so we would want him to stand a little bit more sitting under himself but overall this horse has even if it's a warm blood has a lot of refinement um, we believe it's going to be a very nice uh, prospect for the upper levels and besides a little bit of a straight pasture uh it's a it's a very good uh type for eventing so to conclude a little bit on all that i can go more in depth but um, i would say that one of the most important thing is that at the end of the day the horses for eventing they're gonna have to run and even run pretty fast for the upper level so the the type of the horse is very important they have to be uh pretty light and not not too heavy um, but i'm gonna have to wrap it up for today i'll see you in the next video about free jumping and uh, horses at liberty and i thank you all for listening